application procedure for masters and bachelors more or less same it preliminarily consists of five steps basically five steps the first step is you need to find a study program in a particular university so we need to search at different universities and you need to find out the what is the interesting master program or a bachelor program that you wish to apply and second step is check the eligibility and submit the online application to the university uh, by attaching the uh, required documents i will mention the required documents in little later third step is once you apply the um, application once you submit the application the university process the documents and get back to you within a with a conditional admission within within a month approximately so once you get the admission letter then you can go for the pre enrollment process even pre enrollment process um, itself is a it's a big process it starts in uh, third week of february and ends in third week of uh, july i will talk about pre enrollment process little later and fifth step is then once you get the pre enrollment process done then you can apply for entry visa to italy so i will talk about these steps one by one now coming to the second step application to the university so what are the required documents so as i mentioned you can apply for each university by selecting the particular program online so you can you can apply uh, at the uh, university website and upload the required documents in general the following documents are required scan copy of your id that is your passport and second one is transcripts of records so your individual mark sheet semester or year wise mark sheet you need to upload and english language proficiency a copy either a toefl or iel certificate you need to upload for toefl normally um, they they read from 80 to 99 score and uh, ielts are on 5.5 to 6.5 band also you need to upload your cv a detailed cv is better so mention mention all your uh, achievements like not only grades also your um, internships if any there if there is any publications if any mini projects if you have done any other courses if you have done any online courses or certifications all these things can be included in the cv so in order to enhance your chances of getting admission it is better if you can write a letter of motivation or statement of purpose so in the statement of purpose what you need to write why mainly why you are applying to that master program what is what are the skill set that you already have what you wish to learn in that particular master program why you want to study in italy and why you want to study in that particular university so if you can mention all these things and make a nice story on your own so no need to copy statement of purpose from the internet or so it is your personal letter you need to write yourself about yourself so that is uh, that will enhance your chances also a, a good recommendation letter from your professor or your previous employer or your lecturer that will also enhance your chances now let's go to the pre enrollment process so there are mainly three steps in the pre enrollment process that means there are mainly two steps before you actually submit the application for pre enrollment pre enrollment at italian embassy so those two steps are first of all you need to get your certificates attested and apostilled from the minister of um, uh, external affairs second step is once you done the apostille then you can go for certificate verification at one of the italian application center so i will talk about the steps in detail here so coming to the certificate attestation and apostille um, before submitting the application for pre enrollment at the italian embassy the educational certificates and diplomas must be attested by department of education of the particular state government suppose if you are living in andhra pradesh you need to go to the andhra pradesh and telangana or if you are living in chandigarh go to the chandigarh state board mostly these offices will be in the secretariat so once you done the uh, attestation then go for the apostille done by ministry of external affairs government of india which issues the apostille so i have given you the website also so uh, mea.gov.in they have given the procedure for how to do the uh, attestation and apostille the the approximate fee for the apostille is around uh, 2500 rupees for indian students similarly for other students other uh, pakistan or bangladesh for other even eu or non eu students they can they also has to be done um, have to go for this attestation and uh, um, apostille so based on the procedure in their home country now coming to the steps 2 once you have done the uh, attestation and apostille then you need to go for the certificate verification and the translation of the documents this can be done at the 
uh, Italian Visa Application Center or Application Center like VFS. So you can go to the VFS and drop your uh, certificates and pay the fee. Then they will uh, they will do the certificate verification. Uh, I mean, by submit, they will send it to the Italian Embassy and then the certificate verification will be done. So what is the meaning of verification? They will actually call the universities where you have studied and verify that you have you are the real student there and um, uh, your education is uh, documents are correct. So once that is done, they will translate those documents to Italian language, and after that you can apply for the uh, declaration of value so you will get the declaration of value from the uh, application center so once you get the certificate verification translation and uh, declaration of value you can actually go for the pre-enrollment pre -enrollment in person at the italian embassy so to go for the pre-enrollment the application for pre-enrollment can be submitted uh, with or without acceptance letter from the university so that means if you have if you don't have also uh, the acceptance letter you can still apply that means if your application is under processing something like that you can still apply but it's always better if you have already the admission that's why you must start early uh, to apply for the master program or bachelor program the as i mentioned the application for pre-enrollment they must be submitted in person at the italian embassy within your home country so the following documents are important first of all acceptance letter from the italian university that is the first document second document is your declaration of value so this you will get it from your once you have done the certificate verification and the translations so you can also uh, submit your original documents uh, tested and apostille documents and also two passport size photographs uh, with white background and to um, original enrollment uh, pre-enrollment application forms you have to submit that is called form a you can submit that and you should also should submit your original passport copy along with that if you have any health insurance you can submit if you if you have any source of funds to support your education in italy that also you can you can submit these all will enhance your um, chances of getting your pre-enrollment done so uh, they will also ask some questions to you how you support your uh, education and uh, why you are going there which university you are aiming all these things you need to answer them once that is done they will give you the pre enrollment they will give you the stamp so once that is done you can go for the visa process so that is you can submit the entry visa applications to submit the entry visa applications there is no need to visit the italian embassy instead of that you can visit any of any of the application center and and you can drop your documents over there remember that before you go for the visa you must already have an accommodation in italy so you should contact the italian university where you have got the admission and request for the accommodation if they are providing or this normally the international student office they have some tie-ups with other um, uh, home provide service pro service provider then they will give you their contacts and get the accommodation done you need to show the proof of accommodation that is very important and uh, passport size photographs as well as you also must have uh, insurance health insurance that is also important and you must show the some proof of funds also to support your education in italy for living and all proof of funds of course your travel document and some photographs and of course the pre-enrollment copy we must have done already pre-enrollment that copy has to be submitted once you submit this then they will process your documents and issue a three months visiting visa so you, with that visa you can travel to italy and once you travel to Italy, then you need to the, uh, you need you can um, visit local authorization center like a local police station, and then they will verify, and you can you can get the permanent uh, you can get the residence permit, not permanent residence. You will get the residence permit in, in Italy. So that is the procedure. <laughs>